iPhone 6 Plus, iPhone 6, they've both got Apple A8 processors in it, but how fast are those processors? How good are they for CPU, for GPU, for JavaScript? Let's take a look. So here we have the iPhone 5S, the iPhone 6, and the iPhone 6 Plus. All of them have been freshly rebooted, so we can't even touch ID our way into them. All right, we're gonna start off with Geekbench. I've closed all other apps, I've rebooted all the phones. We're gonna now run the benchmark for performance. Here we have the results, 1625, 1636, 1401, 2907, 2933, 2540. Geekbench results will vary. You should run them several times to make sure, but you can see the range that all these devices fall into. Now we're gonna run GFX Bench. Start. This is gonna take a while. So we can see that this is slightly higher, the iPhone 6 Plus is slightly higher than the iPhone 6. Both are quite a bit uh, higher than the iPhone 5S. Oh, the iPhone 5S, it, it held up remarkably well. It was slower, but it wasn't significantly slower. So you can see this is pushing around a lot more. This is 1080p, this is 750p, this is 640p. So this is doing a lot of work. It's also you know, rendering things at a much larger screen, but the performance is excellent all the way around. All right, so now we're doing the JavaScript rendering. This is a SunSpider test. We're gonna start now. They're all really fast. We have a total of 3.67, sorry, 369.7, 395.9, and 58.8. The lower is better. This one is the lowest. The iPhone 6 Plus does win over a narrow margin over the 6. The iPhone 5S, again, still does really respectively. So that was the iPhone 6 Plus, the iPhone 6. I'm Renee. For more great videos, keep it locked to iMore.com.